morning everyone, it is a Saturday morning today and I am starting a very special vlog for the weekend. So this weekend I'm going with my mum who is currently in the other room getting ready. Say hello mum. <laughs> so we have very kindly been invited to visit a place called Alnwick, which is in Northumberland, to review and check out a local um, b and called the Hogshead Inn. And it's basically part of a company who are trying to make their inns uh, in and around that particular area of Northumberland accessible and invest in training and things like that. So I've been very kindly invited to go for a little press trip a little weekend away to have a little mooch around and we've got a few little excursions planned which is very exciting and I'm really excited to take you guys along with me so are you ready for a little adventure today and then we're going to get the train to London and get a train from King's Cross we're going to be on that for about three hours so yeah let's commence the adventure this weekend let's bring it hey guys so we are now on liner trains and we are heading off to I think you pronounce it Alamuth, I'm not entirely sure, but the service on this train has been fantastic, line is so so accommodating. We've got some tea and biscuits, complimentary of being on first class, which is very nice. We've got a plug as well, a charge up phone, which is fantastic, and it's been a really really stress free morning actually, so I'm really excited to start this journey, and uh, yeah, all good, all good. Uni. Oh, the minute she hears rustling. So we've got some biscuits. I've got the uh, vanilla and walnut, and Mum's got the what are they? Raspberry, aren't they? Raspberry and white chocolate. Guys, these are so good. You've got to try these if you get on a liner train. Vanilla and walnut biscuits. They are bomb. Oh, in total we were on that train for around three and a half hours from King's Cross St Pancras to Almouth which is half an hour away from Newcastle and about an hour away from Edinburgh. The LNER staff on that train were very very friendly and the service was impeccable and the great thing about it was that being in first class there was constantly people coming through with drinks and snacks so there was no need to get up and try and find the bar. And then finally we arrived at the Hogshead Inn in Annick, which is about 10 minutes drive away from Alma Station and it's a really cosy, lovely little B&B style hotel, really family orientated and also just a very nice relaxed atmosphere. Hogshead Inn in Annick. It's actually pronounced Annick, not Alnwick, like I thought it was, but it's spelt like Alnwick, which is quite weird. Anyway, so this is my room. My mum's got a room next door, so my room is the accessibility room. So it's really, really big. You've got a massive bed, and then you've got two bedside cabinets, and then we have a little table with a little seating area going on, and then we've got a dressing table with some tea, very important, and a TV, and then some information about Northumberland because this is part of Northumberland. And then this is the pièce de résistance. This is the rest room, which is massive, and it makes me very happy. It is absolutely huge. I mean, look, and obviously because it's a disabled room, it has a wet room, which is wheelchair accessible. But I love wet rooms, so this couldn't make me any more happier. It's so warm and toasty in here really 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 cosy and also we've got like an ironing board like in a hair dryer and an iron so like you've pretty much got all your like appliances that you need we're gonna go down for dinner a little bit later on but it's this is such such a nice beautiful hotel and it's i'm really really grateful to have a few days to spend here so i was invited by the company that kind of is the parent company to this hotel which is called the Inn Collection so the Hogshead Inn is part of that company and they are investing a lot of money in training into accessibility and to making their venues accessible and to make sure that their staff are disability confident so they wanted me to come down to check it out so they very kindly invited us to spend a couple of nights here to check out Annick and to spend some time here in the hotel which I'm really grateful for and also also the actual hotel is pet friendly as well I mean guide dogs and assistance dogs are like exempt anyway but 
The hotel is also pet friendly, so if you want to come to this sort of area with your dogs, it is pet friendly too. Bed test. Oh my god, this is so comfy. This is such an unflattering angle, but I don't care. Oh my gosh, this is the life. You know that you're onto a winner when your hotel bar has a strawberry daiquiri. You know what I'm going to be ordering tonight? Yes, you do. So I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to unpack. I'm going to feed Fluffy down here. And I'm going to make a cup of tea because, you know, I've got to prioritise here. As you can see from the footage, I decided to unpack after I'd shown you around the hotel room. Okay, so somebody wants their food. Good girl, wait. 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 Go on in. <laughs> oh, bless her. And then I fed Unity. And after that I decided to make a cup of tea, which is very important. And then we decided to take Unity outside to spend for a little bit. And then we headed off to have some dinner. Okay, so we're just heading up to have some dinner now. Uh, we're heading up to the bar area. Don't know what we're going to have yet, but I'm thinking that a cocktail or two may possibly be involved. The food at the Hogshead Inn can definitely be described as comfort food. There was a lot of classic pub options with some more exotic options thrown in there for good measure. And then I ended up getting a cocktail which was delicious. I had the strawberry daiquiri. So we've just had dinner which was really, really lovely and now I've got a strawberry daiquiri which I'm just about to sample now. Oh that's really good, it's really sweet. And then for dessert I had the gluten free chocolate fudge cake which tasted unreal, it did not taste like a gluten free dessert, trust me. This fudge cake. It's gluten free, but you really wouldn't think it is. Like, it doesn't taste like a gluten free cake usually would. It's delicious. So, I've just got back from dinner. It was absolutely delicious. So good. The, the fudge cake was literally amazing. And it was gluten free, but it was like the best gluten free dessert I've ever had in my life. Um, so, I'm just in bed right now watching Harry Potter. Mum is next door having a bath, and I'm just in my. Pajamas. These are new pajamas. I got these from Cyber Jammies, and they are literally so comfortable. And I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the evening and relax. Uh, tomorrow we're going out for the day. We're going to some of the local attractions. That will be really, really fun. So I'll definitely be vlogging all of that. So I don't think I'm going to vlog anymore because I'm quite tired from the long train journey and everything. So I'm just going to go and take makeup off and uh, just relax for the rest of the evening. But I hope you've enjoyed the first part of this vlog. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. It's Sunday today and we are at breakfast. I'm having toast because I'm boring and I'm having cereal, but I do do like cooked breakfast and everything like that. But I just decided not to have that today. So we're having breakfast and then we're heading out in a bit. We're going to go to Annick and see some of the local sites. So we're going to see the castle and the gardens and we're also going to have a look around the village and see the bookshop there called Barty Books, which is like the biggest second-hand bookshop in Europe, I think it, the website said. So yeah, I'll be taking you along with me for that. But for now, I'm hungry. I need to eat. And also, oh my God, I slept so well last night. Mom slept well as well. Literally, it was so quiet. You couldn't hear anything. So... Oh, she's such a nice little weekend break. Brownie points for this hotel because they are probably the only freaking hotel I've ever been to that actually have a dog bin outside. That's a very good thing. <laughs> but you've got all this like massive grassy space behind me where the dogs can actually run and relieve themselves. And it's all kind of like fenced off so they're not going to get onto the road. So don't worry. Hello! Um, so yeah, that's really nice for them because they can actually run around a little bit. And uh, the actual hotel's really dog friendly. They've got like people who come with their dogs, just their pet dogs anyway. So it's just like a really kind of laid back, chilled out atmosphere. <laughs> this dog is bananas. Ah. 
So we have arrived at Ornwick Gardens, which are absolutely stunning. They are so beautiful and the volunteers here are so, so friendly. So Ornwick Gardens was created by the Duchess of Northumberland and it's a massive expanse of gardens here. And basically they are a charity project. So the gardens funds itself through charity, but they also support other charities to do with things like dementia, uh, sort of self care and also kind of children's projects as well to do with like getting them into kind of like gardening and um, nature and that sort of thing but the gardens are just so so stunning they're beautiful and they've really tried to make it accessible with loads of volunteers around who have been explaining kind of visual things to me as well being the fact that I can't see so um, it's a really nice place to visit and I definitely recommend it if you're in this sort of area because it's a really really beautiful place so I'm going to quickly just show you my outfit of the day I'm sorry it's a little bit windy and it's messing with the audio a little bit. My scarf is the Gryffindor scarf that I got from the Harry Potter studios. I'm also wearing this brown pinafore dress that I got from New Look. I'm also wearing like a little white roll neck that I also got from New Look. My boots that I'm wearing are from Sainsbury's um, and then my bag is this brown leather satchel which I was gifted from Zatchel's and it's all like a really smooth leather and they're made here in the UK in Leicester and then my ring, this is from Pia um, I got it ages ago, it's like a little leaf gold copper ring and then my necklace, if you can see that my little necklace that I got here, it's like a copper oak leaf I got that from Edinburgh so that's my little autumnal outfit oh, look how pretty it is look how pretty I am an autumn lover and I'm in my element right now, look Autumn, 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 autumn all around. Mum's just like, there's so much to Instagram. She's in her element right now. She's literally in her element. The gardens had so much to offer on a sensory level, from the fragrant rose gardens that we visited to the many water features that were dotted all around the gardens. It was such an immersive and beautiful sensory experience. The gardens were very calm and relaxed and so much of the gardens is also on one level as well so it's really accessible if you have a disability. There were a couple of parts where there were some steps to get down because they couldn't level it out enough it being that it was a steep incline but for the most part it's a really accessible place to visit. And all of the volunteers were so incredibly friendly and welcoming. So we are now at Ornwick Castle, we just finished up in the gardens. Here it is behind me. So this is the home to the uh, Duke and Duchess of Northumberland. Um, and also guys, if you recognize it, you may recognize it from the first Harry Potter film because this was the setting that where the first Harry Potter film was filmed. They filmed here when Harry Potter was having his first ever broomstick lesson. So this was used as the backdrop for Hogwarts school. Hence why I'm wearing my Gryffindor scarf today. Oh, this is gorgeous. Northumberland is so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so we're now actually in the castle, in like the courtyard bit, but look, this bit behind me, you might recognize because it's from the first Harry Potter film when Harry has his first flying lesson. Uh, this is where they filmed it. So this is where the magic happens. This is where they filmed Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This was Hogwarts and they are, as we speak right now, they're having um, flying lessons on broomsticks. I'm not going to do that because I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I'm a bit too old to do that, but I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of having serious envy. I am jealous. I am jealous. I'm not going to lie. So we've just finished up in the castle now. There was quite a lot that I actually couldn't film or take photographs of because it's still owned by the family who lived there. But it was a really, really beautiful castle. The state rooms are absolutely amazing. And it's just a nice place to visit if you're in the area. But the view from here is absolutely beautiful. So pretty. And now I think we're going back to the gardens to see if we can go and get some lunch or some cake, <laughs> probably cake, at a nearby cafe there. 
So I'm just waiting outside for Mum. Um, we're just getting some tea and cake. Um, we're at the potting shed, which is next to the treehouse restaurant here at Onwick Gardens. We did try and book to go in there because it looked beautiful, but they're fully booked. They get really booked really quickly, so we didn't get tickets. But um, hopefully, if we ever come again, I'll be able to book for next time. But I'm getting some cake as Mum, and I'm getting a cup of tea. So we've got some refreshments. I got a cup of tea and some lemon drizzle cake. Mum got the same cake as me and she got a hot chocolate. So I've just come in with my mum to Barter Books. This is one of the biggest secondhand bookshops in Europe. It's so, so good. There's like an open fire, they've got a cafe. It's basically, it's been built into an old train station and it's just the coolest shop. I feel like If you're a nostalgic person who absolutely loves books, then Barter Books is definitely a place that you should visit. It's built into what used to be an old train station and it's a huge, huge shop packed with shelves upon shelves of all manner of books. It's an Aladdin's cave for book lovers. So we've just got back and we are having a carvery dinners. Oh my god, these are so good. We both got turkey and then we've got some Diet Cokes. I'm just so ready for this. Look at the size of the book you put in. It's like a little planet. It's so huge. We've got some stuff in, some cranberry sauce. Morning guys, so it is Monday today and alas we are packing up to head home to leave from our little Anik adventure. Um, I'm quite sad to be going home actually, the area is just so nice and everybody's just been so friendly so I'm just like, I really don't want to go home. We're going to go down and have some breakfast and then we're going to head off to catch um, our train back to London, like a three and a half hour train ride, so all good stuff. In it goes, this little toasty journey. Hey guys, so I apologise for the way that I look right now. I have got no makeup on and I'm in my pyjamas, but I've got to keep it real, you know? Today I've had a bit of a homey day. I had a shower and then I was like, no what, no, this is a day for my pyjamas because I've not been at home for a day for about six days now. So I, I was craving just living in my pyjamas today, but you know, this is a pyjama day, right? So I've just been looking at the footage on my camera because I'm currently editing the vlog as we speak and I was like, oh god damn, I forgot to record a little outro, a little ending to the vlog so I just thought I'd quickly do one now. So I just wanted to say that I had a lovely time in Annick, as did my mum. It was such a beautiful part of Northumberland. The people were so, so friendly and I really enjoyed having the chance to see Annick. And the Hogshead Inn was such a nice hotel, the staff was so friendly and I would highly recommend it to anyone who would like to visit that part of Northumberland. This video is not sponsored, I was invited to the hotel to stay. I would like to say a massive thank you to the Hogshead Inn for having me to stay. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to LNER Trains for inviting us to travel with them. And I would also like to say thank you to the Annick Gardens and to the Annick Castle for inviting us to have a little explore around the attractions. And I will be also writing a blog post as well on this. So I will link my blog down below if you would like to read that. And also be sure to like, comment and subscribe and to click the notification bell to receive updates when I make new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye everyone.